quick PSA and review. This and this, they are not the same shoe. Same brand, same model, same size, both the U45, but look, you can probably tell. I actually have make it, made a review on these guys, and most reviews you will see on YouTube are about these guys. With these guys, I had an issue with my small toe getting constricted by this hard part here. It was extremely painful, so I actually sized up, even though I shouldn't have. Because size 44, just like in Vivo, was a perfect fit, apart from this part here. And I went the size up because of that. Big mistake. Those are a bit long. They're fine, but they just look weird. And I made a review about how just absolutely weird the toe box looks. Because it's wide, but also it's narrow, and it looks like a duck beak. I'm not sure what's up with that, and it just ruins the whole aesthetic of the shoe. This bad boy, however, I ordered it because of the color. I just wanted to have the same shoe, but in black. Cheap, nice casual shoe for going out, going to jobs, whatever. Interviews. And I noticed it just looked so much better in the front. I just kept look at this, at this. I would, I just, I actually went ahead and wore it, and again, it felt better and wider. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I just went back on Amazon, a German site. It's in English, of course, it's fine. But I just noticed that next to this one, those were made more expensive, and also didn't have this big skin insole or whatever, which is like a thick, weird, like, it's not big skin, obviously, a lot of leather, it's just uh, cardboard kind of material. They didn't have this, they had a regular insole, and those guys were never discounted, they were always more expensive, around 50 euros with shipping. And yes, long story short, this is the wide version, this is what you want. Most reviews will have the regular version, which is wide enough and it's still very flexible on this stuff. This is with a pig skin, whatever freaking insole. Take it out. Very flexible. This is a barefoot shoe as far as I'm concerned. They say you can wear it without the insole. Look at the inside though. It's stitching, it's exposed. And when you wear them without an insole, they feel like bricks. I don't know, just very weird, very hard footbed in there. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but those bad boys, those are perfection. I wish I got them in my normal size, 44, which is my size in, in barefoot shoes, otherwise my size 45. These are very wide, and not only are they wide, so they're more comfortable and they're like barefoot like they should be, they're also so much better looking. This is such a uniform design here. Very nice proportions. This looks weird. This looks amazing. And I have to buy this again. Size 44 though. One size down. The wide version. And I wish I had this again in 44. But I got the 45. Whatever. I'm wearing in the winter anyway. With thick socks. It's kind of fine. So yeah. Keep in mind there are two different versions. The wide version is the one you want for looks. And for feeling. Barefoot feeling comfort. This is wide enough, this is even better. So let's go to the shoes themselves. They have a nice little memory foam here, like many shoes do. Those are very comfy, pretty light, very flexible. The sole here, just a regular thin sole. This is with a regular sole, the pigskin sole I showed you. I will tell you this. This sole is also extremely durable. Those are basically Phil Grounds, Phil Grounds original copies. They look exactly the same, only just some coloration differences, some very minor aesthetic differences. The sole looks the same. Basically, it's not as soft, although it's very soft. But this is going to be a much more durable sole than the Phil Grounds. And those cost a third. Okay, they cost maybe half the price, but actually it's less than half the price of the Phil Grounds. So, yeah, if you like the colorways, get those. This is very durable. I mean, I've worn it at my job, walking all day through various terrain. There is no sign of wear. I will basically clean them and it will look like new. Very durable sole. Quality is fine. This is a nice thick canvas. You can also put some waterproofing spray to make it uh, splash proof. 
very good in the winter you cannot it doesn't matter how cold it is with its regular insole you will not feel any cold go coming through the floor which is where most of the cold comes through no wind even on a motorcycle again no cold fit very very good winter shoe but of course in the summer that might be an issue but it should be fine but whatever this is a very solid nice canvas here this is a, it is a plasticky sun canvas is not like vans or other quality shoes it's plasticky canvas who cares listen mostly you get these shoes because they look good and this is a very good looking shoe it's been approved by a friend of mine that doesn't even wear barefoot shoes he was like oh this looks nice this is a very good looking shoe construction is fine durability should be great very flexible very wide very light what else do you want 50 euros and you have a barefoot suit that's gonna last you forever and it's gonna look very very nice while you're wearing it so yeah get a pair of widgets just make sure you get a wide version otherwise you're gonna be stuck with this ugly duckling here in person when you're wearing it people will not really notice that it's a bit weird but you will you will as you're gonna look down and you'll be like hmm what exactly is this but it's fine laces are very soft pretty good they they hold they don't get untied very good friction easy to tie but i've put the elastic laces here for a better fit again because these are also a size bigger than it should be so yeah just get a pair of weddings if you're looking for an entry to the barefoot world world what i would do is get a pair of weddings for like 50 euros or whatever it is in us and some vapor gloves this is a six it's amazing but it's very expensive right now because it's brand new get a pair of uh, vapor glove fours you can find them on discount for like 70 euros whatever 80 whatever it is incredible shoe if you want no cushion and when you want cushion and a more normal look for going out going to jobs whatever this is what you need so for around for less than 150 euros you will have two pairs of very versatile barefoot shoes one for training and barefoot feel and one you can use with an insole for rest days jobs and going out so yeah that's it for now again white version better than the regular version a bit more expensive but it's worth it i'm gonna see you the next one see ya